T-Quilts and I'm here today to do block number three of the Paradox Point. I have my book here. Let me just show you the books for those that haven't seen my intro video or blocks number one and two. I do have a playlist and I will link it up above. But here is the book. It's called Paradox Point and you have these various triangles. You can do it in a dark background which is what I'm doing and here's one in the cover that uses gray and another one here that has a light blue background so we're on block number three which is on page nine so this is our triangle block I don't know if you can see the print background fabric that makes it into a rectangle so I have already cut my templates out. I have my triangles and again, I curl my paper before I start piecing just so it's easier for me to see the fold lines when I'm paper piecing. So I have my four triangle pieces and I have my arrow point that needs to be paper pieced. And then I also have my fabrics chosen. They're on my design wall. So let me turn you around so you can see that. The fabrics I've chosen this time is kind of an, a red with orange and yellow. And then a lighter to medium color batik blue. And I'm hoping that it's not so dark that it won't contrast with the actual background fabric. And then I also have my accent pieces. I don't know if anyone else is working on this block of the month with me. If you are, let me know in the comment section. I haven't received any photos to post of anyone else working on this project. So I'm hoping there is someone out there that's doing it, but you're just not forwarding your photo. And you know the drill. I will not be showing you any sewing while I'm doing this. So I will come back with my completed paper piece units. So I'm back with my sewn units. I have my four triangles sewn onto the paper backgrounds and I have my arrow point ready. So now it's time for me to sew this into a rectangle. I will sew this unit together and then I'll come back with the finished block. So here is my triangle three. It's all sewn. I actually didn't do come back and do the steps in between of sewing the arrow point together because it's all the same I showed you in block number one how it actually goes together and what pieces are needed so I will go ahead and put up my block numbers one and two so you can see them all together so here are my three triangles that I have together thus far I am just using scraps I'm not using anything that's planned the only thing that's planned is my background and my accent piece that goes from block to block but other than that I'm just using scraps and I just go and pull whatever color I like so I'm not planning any particular color scheme as well so that is it for this video I will see you in my next one bye bye